How would you rate uh, Marcus's performance? Great. Uh, you know, he's been great since he's joined the team. You know, last night he had a big tip in uh, to be a deciding factor in that game tonight. You know, just a great job of, uh, again, c controlling the paint on both, both sides of uh, the court. Uh, rebounding the ball, defending the basket. You know, he's communicating, doing everything you would want a veteran to do. And, you know, both he and Howard, since joining this club, uh, is bringing what we need at this time. You know, those guys to understand the moment. They know how to play in the moment. And uh, tonight he knew it was a big game. And he stepped up to the plate, uh, shooting the ball, knocking down his free throws, uh, defending the basket. Great job. Is 50 special to you? 50 is. I think it's just, you know, that's a benchmark in this league uh, for teams having a good year. And when you're able to win 50 games uh, in this league, uh, it's tough. And, you know, everything that uh, these guys have gone through uh, this year, they haven't made excuses. They just continue to uh, co go out and play. Uh, today we got the news about Brandon, and you know Rudy had to step in, and you know Martell, uh, our bench. We needed those guys. Uh, they just continue to play. They don't make excuses. Uh, they continue to work, and they get tighter and find ways to win games. Hey, you guys have been doing this all season, overcoming obstacles and injuries. But was this tonight a little bit more special because it's Oklahoma City and because of the seating issue? Yeah, it was special in the sense that we knew that it was an important game. Um, you know, we get the tiebreaker. You know, it's 50 wins for us. Uh, we, we can't drop to eight the spot. So a lot was riding on this game. Uh, the fact that we had just beaten the Lakers and, you know, Brandon is out. Uh, we needed, the, needed guys to step up, and they did uh, tonight. So, yes, it, it was a special game. And uh, I thought the second half we started to play our game. The defense tightened up. Offensively, we score 60 points, and we get 60 in the paint. So we were aggressive uh, throughout this game. Was there an adjustment you made on Durant coming out of the halftime? Because you really, they really clamped down on him. Well, I thought we did a good job of just sending. You know, sometimes our guys get caught up in it's me against you, and it's not. Uh, and you know, we weren't uh, playing our rules on the defensive end of the floor. We started to uh, play our rules, and if there was an opportunity to switch out, switch out and deny. We, we don't mind. We didn't mind Lamarcus being on Durant. Uh, Nick got in foul trouble. Martell did a nice job. But we kept him off the free throw line. He had nine free throws in that first half, only one in the second half, and that was a big key. We wanted to just body him, wear him down, and I thought our guys did that. But you what also you sent double action? team help out a lot. We started late. Late. Uh, we wanted to get a double team on him, so we were still switching with our four man. But anytime Camby or the five man was close, we wanted to uh, double team him. If he got into an isolation, certain parts of the floor, we wanted to uh, double team him. Yeah. What, would, what would your reaction, what are your thoughts on Brandon's mm -hmm. situation? You know, just, uh, you know, just terrible. You know, it's been a bad year as far as injuries uh, with, our, with our group. And uh, yeah, it's just something we've had to deal with all year long. And it seemed like uh, every few hours it got worse you know, so uh, we know what what the situation is uh, we, you know we'll rest him this week and you know see if he can go uh, you know see if he can do something and uh, that'll be uh, depending on how Brandon feels. Seeing how your team played without him tonight does that stick in your mind about what this team may be able to do and your decision on when or how much he plays if he wants to? Well we'll, we'll see when that when that time comes you know if he's those adjustments. We've had to do it all year long. Uh, again, guys have stepped up. You know, Andre Miller, we, we haven't said anything about him, but uh, he was unbelievable again tonight. Uh, LaMarcus is really stepping up and, and showing a leadership role. So this group has really tightened up, you know, as far as uh, being together uh, doing adversity uh, that they've faced all season long. Thoughts on the way to Los Angeles? Well, you know, those defending champions and whoever we face, uh, whether it's Dallas, Utah, or, you know, whoever uh, is at that second or third spot, it's going to be a tough, tough matchup. But defending champions, that, you, know, you don't really want to face those guys uh, in, in the first round uh, because, you know, that defending
defending champions. You, even though they've lost some games, you know that they're going to get their stuff together. Or you expect them to. Uh, they probably be healthy going into uh, their first round. So you try and take your chances somewhere else. If you can. Have you ever 